If it's Sunday night and you have nothing to do, you might be watching TV. <laughs> At least that's what Sunday Night Singles has taught us. If you read reviews on PictureLockShow.com, you may have noticed a new voice. We have in the studio co-founder of SNS and contributor to PictureLock, Janessa Jackson. Janessa, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, it's my pleasure. Um, I said I was going to be professional about this. You're no stranger to the show. No, I'm not. Uh, in fact, if you review some of the credits um, in the in the past, you'll see Janessa's name. So uh, I, I said I was going to be professional, and that's what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> I always like starting at the beginning. When did you first fall in love with film? Uh, I think the simplest answer is I was seven, and I saw Titanic, and my mom took me. And then we saw it again, and I was just completely hooked from then on. <laughs> You're one of those. I am. I am one of those. It was just. It was thrilling. It was absolutely thrilling. Was it Leo that did it for you, or was it just the grand epicness? Of no, it was the, definitely the grand epicness. Like I loved the whole watching the boat sink, and I was also <laughs> very into. I researched the Titanic a lot, so it was really fun to see that finally play out. And yeah, I just I fell in love with the whole entire thing. Wow. Mm-hmm. I loved watching the boat sing. That's, what, <laughs> that's all I took away from that. Apparently I was a very dark child, but you know, it was, it was just, it was in, like the theater was huge uh -huh. and I was a tiny little person and right. watching this huge thing take place, that was just, it was amazing. That makes sense. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, it, it was a great, a great film. All right, so you're currently uh, a grad student over at George Washington yes. University. You're in the documentary filmmaking mm -hmm. program. All right, so tell us about your love for docs. What made you want to go to GW for, you know, studying documentary? Yeah, so my major, my overall major is actually media and public affairs, and then documentary film just seemed like the perfect kind of complement to what I was already learning about communications. And I really just wanted to learn the production side of film. And I like documentaries because they're, they're reality. They're really showing what's actually going on, and they cover kind of, not more newsworthy events, but just some bigger topics about what's going on in the world. So how do you plan to marry the two in your personal life going forward in the future? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm a huge reality TV buff, so I don't want to kind of like dishearten anyone that's into <laughs> documentary, but I think that's kind of where I would skew more is into more reality TV. Wow. Um, just because, I mean, it's still to that. That's thrilling to me, and you just apply the same techniques to that. Um, but it's also at the same time you're working with stuff more on the fly. So I think that's kind of where I would translate more, and maybe news. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's interesting, and I, I got to give you props for that, that you can <laughs> put that two and two together because yeah. I... I guess a lot of people may or may not know, hate to ruin it for you at home. Um, you know, for the most part, reality TV is scripted. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you think that you're going to find something in the locker, you know, or voting on, like, trying to win what's behind door number yeah. one. But it's been <laughs> planted there. So, But the fact that you can correlate documentary filmmaking and reality TV, that's that's pretty genius. Well, I think what I really learned like from actually studying documentary film is a there's a lot of planning that goes into it. You write a documentary before you shoot it, so I think like people don't realize that, not that stuff in documentaries are staged, but to a certain degree you are planning out what's happening, so I think it's easily transferable. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Sunday Night Singles, yes. in my opinion, this is a funny site, all right? So it's a <laughs> Lighthearted take on some of the hot shows that are out. Yes. So here's uh, one of the Walking Dead reviews, how it starts. <laughs> if I could hug you all over the internet, I would. <laughs> Last night was rough. Nothing reminds you that you are glaringly single, like crying over a TV show and having no one to turn to. I know you guys are here for me, though, and I am here for you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I'm trying to remember right now, like what episode. I think I can remember what episode that is. But yeah, that's, that's very a very honest take on when I'm watching television. Well, I told you I'm trying to catch up on The Walking Dead right now. Mm -hmm. I just finished uh, episode eight, so I said, you know, what, let me check out the site. Let me see what she wrote. And I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I that's what I love about the site. Obviously, you guys embrace your single relationship mm -hmm. status. Uh, how did you come up with the site? So um, my friend Scott and I, both of us went to college at University of Pittsburgh. Um, we both took as many film classes as we could there. And we were friends there, but then really once like tw we were both on Twitter and we were both like kind of postgraduate and we were clearly watching the same television shows to the point where we were kind of obnoxious over Twitter and just <laughs> having full on conversations. So from there, Scott kind of had the idea that we should be 
talking over the internet more and starting a blog just because we had more to say than Twitter would allow. Mm. Uh, I took some, it took some convincing, but finally he got me hooked in. Uh, yeah, we started writing. I think our first show was the newsroom that we started writing about. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, speaking of what you started writing about, yeah. what are some of the shows that you guys cover? Yeah, so we really started out with just HBO, just because we're huge fans of what they put out. And it's also Sunday nights is a big night for HBO. Mm. Um, Game of Thrones, Girls, all of those are on Sunday nights. So, yeah, we've covered Newsroom, uh, Girls, Game of Thrones. We did The Leftovers the first season. Mm. And now we've kind of translate. I cover Walking Dead, and we also started doing American Horror Story. Okay. Now, yep. I, I obviously am a fan of the Walking Dead reviews. Yep. <laughs> um, as a part of it, you always pull out your favorite walker. Mm -hmm. um, how did you come up with that concept? Because I think it's genius. Basically, just go ahead and tell uh, everybody like what you kind of do to highlight your... Yeah, so... I mean, when we're thinking about our posts, we want to do something a little bit different just than writing about it. So for The Walking Dead, I was like, what can I do to kind of break up what people are talking about for the show? And I was just sitting there, and every time the show was on, they have hundreds of walkers sometimes in every episode, and you just have to kind of laugh at them. Like, you, you realize these are extras who are, like, moving very slowly, have all this makeup on, and so it takes some effort on their part, and they're mm -hmm. really thinking about what these walkers are doing. So just, like, let me let me highlight <laughs> one of these extras who's doing, you know, done a really great job this episode, and yeah. just also some of the ways that the walkers die and how um, the real people interact with the walkers I find pretty hysterical. So I kind of decided to pick out one and highlight one. Yeah, uh, in <laughs> episode eight, you actually highlighted two, and uh -huh. you said that they were probably hotties before they got turned. <laughs> I think maybe they were both in plaid shirts, if I I'm not mistaken. So. I think they looked they looked a little bit younger. The so details. I was like, <laughs> as being a desperately single person, I'm clearly looking for the hottest walkers every show. <laughs> nice. All right, so, um, you know, for those that are listening, uh, and you just talked about kind of the struggle because, you know, in this day and age, it is kind of fun when you watch the Emmys, the Oscars, mm -hmm. or whatever it might be on, and then you're like on uh, Twitter or Facebook at the same time, and like yes. the world is also watching and you're tweeting back and forth. Mm -hmm. But for those that might be in that kind of situation, what would you say in terms of if they're thinking about, hey, let me start a blog? Do you think that they should? Or shouldn't. Um, I'm definitely a fan of everyone should be starting a blog. A, there are just some people who maybe your Facebook statuses are a little bit too long. I'd rather <laughs> you move that to another part of the internet. And it's just a great way to kind of express yourself and really kind of hone in on something that you really, really love. And for me and Scott, that was TV. Mm. And so we knew it was kind of like a way to, we have our nine to five jobs, but now we have this like little part of the internet that's just ours. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I definitely, my advice is if you think you want to start a blog, definitely start one. You're not doing anything wrong. Like you're just kind of really honing in on something that you really, really like and writing about it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you recently started writing for a picture lock. I did. Thank you again. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so, you know, I, I saw your voice on uh, Sunday Night Singles, and I said, you know what, I want to bring that voice over to picture lock mm -hmm. as well. Um, all right, what would you say is the difference between when you're writing for Sunday Night Singles versus Picture Lock and how you approach everything? Yeah, well, first off, we're talking about two different, very different mediums. On Sunday Night Singles, we're just talking about TV shows. Even though we really like film, we really just talk about TV, whereas Picture Lock, all movies. And, I mean, that's kind of where I've started academically. Like, I started analyzing films, but it was a, it was a much bigger switch than I thought it was going to be kind of going into talking about <laughs> films more. Yeah. Um, and something a little bit different too is uh, I'm used to analyzing films, whereas I've learned reviewing films and analyzing films completely different. Yeah. Completely different. <laughs> it is different. As you've tried to teach me. <laughs> it's okay though. You know, I, I what we got to do is start opening up more uh, analyzation, but I just don't have the time to sit down and really analyze and geek out like I would like to. But no, exactly. Like if you started analyzing, like you can just take that somewhere. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So um, what do you think? Do you think that you want to continue down this path as a film critic enthusiast? Yeah. Or, or, okay. You're doing a lot. Then. Yeah. Documentary, so <laughs> reality TV. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit of a crazy person. I like taking on a bunch of different things. It's funny. Scott just asked me this. He's like, do you see yourself parlaying this into a career? Mm. And I mean, I thoroughly enjoy writing and I 
thoroughly enjoy, enjoy watching TV and film. So yeah, I think ideally I would somehow continue to do that, whether it's just on SNS with the picture lock. Uh, ideally I would get paid to do it, but you know, <laughs> that's that's down the road. <laughs> I know you're not talking about picture lock, because picture lock, you get a check every week. Yeah, definitely. And the amount of popcorn is just, you know, insane. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> well, we'll work on that. <laughs> uh, all right, so seriously, um, uh, you know, the new TV lineup uh, just kind of came out mm -hmm. and everything. Um, is there anything that you're looking forward to covering this fall? Uh, so, me and Scott just decided we're definitely covering The Walking Dead and then we're going to do American Horror Story. We were debating doing The Leftovers, which we had previously covered their first season, but we just kind of realized we weren't in love with it. Mm. Um, we, had ju we just came off kind of a rough bout of watching True Detective, which if you're a fan of the show, you were so pumped about, but the second season was just questionable <laughs> at best. Okay. So I think, not to say that it was traumatizing, but it is hard to produce something every week when you aren't really in enjoying what you're watching. You can analyze it, but it's just our voices really are much better at kind of doing something that we enjoy watching rather than pushing through. And yeah. So yeah, we Walking Dead and American Horror Story are two shows that we really, really like. Yeah, and this season on American Horror Story, um, there is a new addition to the cast that's probably gonna bring in uh, a bunch of viewers. Yes. Who's that person? Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, the, Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj, they both kind of started out with the uh, in theater and things mm, like that. Yeah. So, like, they are actually, you know, actresses, and I'm just bringing up Nicki Minaj because I'm saying <laughs> the fact that, you know, they're singers, entertainers, but then they can also go and do TV because Nicki Minaj actually has a comedy show based on her life coming out Yeah, on um, ABC Family. Yeah, okay. I think so. Yeah, it's funny with Lady Gaga. Like, I don't think people realize like how much of a background that she has. So it's going to be really interesting to see what she brings to a show like American Horror Story, which is already like so ingrained in what it does. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Janessa, remind people where they can find your work. Yeah, so we're at SundayNightSingles.wordpress.com. We haven't paid for the actual website. Um, and then we're also on Twitter at Sunday Night Singles. We love to live tweet during the shows that we're watching. So that's a great place to find us too. And then I'm on Picture Lock. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, Janessa, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you for always being awesome. And thanks I can for try. contributing to Picture Lock. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Check Janessa and Scott out at sundaynightsingles.wordpress.com. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We've got Brian Loy coming up.